Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share videos that are not on YouTube in your Google Classroom. And there's a few ways to do it, so I'm going to cover all of them in this video. Uh, just as a quick refresher, if you do want to share a YouTube video, just copy the link of your YouTube video and go ahead and put it in your Google Classroom, either in your stream or in your classwork by simply pasting in a link to that video in the URL field, just like that. But let's say you want to use a video that is not hosted on YouTube. Let's say you want to use a video that you have on your desktop, maybe something you created, you haven't put it on YouTube, you don't want to put it on YouTube, you just want to put it on Google Classroom for your students. So here's how you can do that. Let's say we're going to make this video just an announcement for my students to say, please watch this video. Now, I'm going to hit the Add button, and I'm going to select the option for File. And now I'm going to upload the video that I want to share with my students. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can hit the Browse button and upload a file that way. Or if you're using Chrome or Firefox or Microsoft Edge, you can just grab the video from your desktop and drag it over like I just did there. And it's going to upload into your Google Drive and simultaneously upload for use in Google Classroom. So once that's uploaded, we'll be able to share it with our students, in this case, as an announcement. So my video is now uploaded and I can post it for my students to watch. And they can add comments because I'm allowing class comments. Now, I can also do this in my classwork. Now, in my classwork, I can do this as an assignment, as a question, or as a material. Let's first look at this as a material. So let's hit Create and select Material. And now we're going to say video about using images in Flippity templates. And I'd say, please watch this video. Then again, we'll hit Add, select File. And once again, I'm going to drag that in and upload it. And I'll distribute it to all of my students as soon as that's uploaded. And again, this video will also reside in my Google Drive now that I've also uploaded it to my Google Classroom. So we can see here my video has been uploaded and I'll put it in a topic. Let's create a new topic. We'll call it Making Games. It's our new topic. And I'll post that for all of my students in my class to see. So we'll post that one. Now, some other options we have. Let's go to Create, and let's do this as a question. And so our question is going to be, do you like this video? Watch the video, then answer the question. And I'll do that one as a short answer. Hit the Add button hit file, and again, I have that option to upload the video. Now, I should point out that I don't have to upload the video as many times as I'm doing here. Once I've uploaded it one time, I can always pull it from my Google Drive, but for the sake of demonstration here, I'm showing you how to upload it on every instance. So in this case, this is going out as a question to my students, and they're going to have to answer it let's say by February 3rd at midnight, and I'll put that in my topic, making games, and I'm going to ask the question for all of my students. Now our last option here 
Let's go and create a new assignment. I'm going to say, watch this video and answer the question. Now, the questions I might write here in the instructions, or I might attach a Google document that has a list of questions for my students. I might just say, what is the number one thing to look for when using images in games? Now, I'm going to go in here and hit Add. And this time, just for sake of demonstration, let's go to the Google Drive. And in this case here, we're going to see there's all of my videos that I've recently uploaded. You could also do a search for it. So I could search and say how to use images. As long as I remember the title of the video, I'll be able to find it that way. But here, I'm just going to select how to use images. I'm going to insert it down here. And we're going to say in this case, again, my due date will be midnight, February 3rd, putting it into my making games topic, and all my students will get it, and we're going to assign it to them. So that's how you can share videos with your students in Google Classroom if the videos have not been uploaded to YouTube, Vimeo, or other online services. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out 3techforteachers.com. And you might also want to check out commoncraft.com because Lee LaFever was the inspiration for today's video.